These are some of the new features for Cisco Nexus Dashboard Data Broker Release 3.10.1. Here, ports A1 and A2 of the TAP device receive traffic from a production switch. These are called network ports. A bi-directional traffic flow is established between the network ports. Traffic on the network ports is mirrored to ports B1 and B2, called mirror ports. Traffic from the mirror ports reaches the edge port tap ports. Traffic from the mirror ports reaches the edge port tap ports of the NDB device. The mirror ports of the tap device and edge port tap ports of the NDB device are physically connected. To add Cisco Nexus 3550F Fusion L1 switch as a TAP device, you need to first navigate to Devices TAP Devices and add a TAP device. Next, define a TAP configuration. Go to Components, TAP Configurations tab. Navigate to the Input Ports tab. Here you can see the mapping of the ports between the TAP device and the NDB device. To complete the TAP configuration, add a connection. You can check the configuration using the Topology tab. Beginning with Cisco Nexus Dashboard Data Broker Release 3.10.1, Cisco Catalyst 9300 series switches are supported as production switches. They can be configured as local spans. To configure Catalyst 9300 switches as production switches, navigate to Devices, Span Devices, and select Production Switches. Select Add Span Device to add a Catalyst switch as a production switch. To set the input port on the NDB device that will receive traffic from the Catalyst switches, navigate to Components, Input Ports tab. Here you can also set the span destination port on the Catalyst switch. Next you need to add a span session. Navigate to Sessions, Span Sessions. Add a connection to the session. Click Install Span Session to install ACLs in the NDB devices and the span session on the Catalyst switch. Cisco Digital Network Architecture Center DNAC, is a powerful network controller and management dashboard that lets you take charge of your network. The DNAC controller can be integrated with the Cisco Nexus Dashboard Data Broker. Span session configurations on the Catalyst switches are managed from the Nexus Dashboard Data Broker GUI. For DCNAC integration with Cisco Nexus Dashboard Data Broker, Navigate to Devices, Span Devices, and select Controllers. Here, while adding a controller, select DNAC. Click Add Span Device to start integrating the DNAC controller with the Nexus Dashboard Data Broker controller. To add a Span Destination Port for DNAC, navigate to Components, Input Ports tab, and select Add Input Port. Next, create a span session for the DNAC controller. Go to the Topology tab and you can see the DNAC controller with the Catalyst switch. Cisco Nexus Dashboard Data Broker 3.10.1 can be hosted on Cisco APIC. The host APIC is auto-discovered by the Cisco Nexus Dashboard Data Broker and is displayed on the Span Devices screen. Cisco Nexus Dashboard Data Broker 3.10.1 is part of the Cisco Nexus Dashboard, enabling NetOps to programmatically manage, aggregating, filtering, and forwarding complete flows to custom analytics tools. Thank you for watching.